Hi, my name is Simon Huntley. I'm the founder of Small Farm Central. We serve the technology needs of farmers across the country. So these are farms that market directly to their customer versus sort of the corn market. We sell our produce at this farmer's market in East Liberty. We are also a CSA farm, which is a community-supported agriculture. So we have different groups, families, individuals that pay up front for a season's worth of produce and then pick it up every week. But Small Farm Central is a company that I use to help me to communicate well with my customers through the internet. I grew up on a small farm here in southwestern Pennsylvania, about 60 miles south of Pittsburgh. And so growing up, I really wanted nothing to do with the farm. I was totally uninterested in it. So I left the farm as soon as I could, went off to college and studied uh, information technology, really became interested in how technology and farms could be related. And after I was done, I was really interested in actually working on a farm. My now wife and I ended up working on a farm in Colorado. We got a really great opportunity to be there at the beginning of a CSA program and sort of help build that program. Well, after that opportunity was over, came back to Pittsburgh and I started Small Farm Central. Or I started doing websites for farms, and I really saw that as a need. My philosophy is that I'd rather do one thing really well and then sort of build things from there. I was sort of focused really on the, on the website part of it. I knew I really wanted to build some kind of membership management portal for CSAs because that's what I'm really passionate about, our community supported agriculture programs. It's such a special model for the farmer because it allows them to focus on growing food and it's such a special model for the customer too or the member because they get this box of produce every week and it's sort of like Iron Chef CSA, you know, you get to sort of figure out what you're going to do out of that box and it's just, it really gives you a connection to what's growing in your region at a certain time. We farm uh, 140 acres of vegetables and small fruit. Uh, our major crops are sweet corn, tomatoes, lettuce, green beans, peppers, and pumpkins. Well, we got into CSA about 10 years ago. Once we exceeded a certain number of CSA members, it got very strenuous you know, to try and keep track of everybody, especially payments. Very nice to, to be able to keep track of all our CSA members with Small Farm Central. The new services we're working on is called CSA Farmhand, and so it's a platform for a farm to educate their customers and communicate with their customers. What happens when people join a CSA, oftentimes they join it because they want to support local farms. It sounds like a great idea, and maybe it's a great idea in May, <laughs> maybe it's a great idea in June, but it comes to July and the boxes get bigger and you get busy and it, it just can be intimidating if you don't have sort of recipes and ways to cook the food. So we want to help CSA farms be better at educating their members, doing video with chefs on how to cook, say, asparagus or uh, really simple short how-to videos, uh, tested recipes that, that we're working on. I'm just really passionate about CSA is continuing to grow. So I think that's a really interesting question for a company like Small Farm Central, where we have customers everywhere. <laughs> We're really just an online business. We don't really have need to have a physical footprint. This is a great place to live, I think, and I've really enjoyed living here, and I want to live here. So that's the, the simple answer, but some of the things that I've really enjoyed about Pittsburgh are just the talent that I've seen. And the agriculture community has been really supportive here.